Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Miss Timberg. Um, this is going to be the video lesson for checkpoint four of your essay. So we are starting back with our essay. We left off on checkpoint three before um, all of this craziness happened. Now we're going to continue on with checkpoint four. All right, so you can find this um, video lesson presentation, the slides. You can find that under checkpoint four. Also get the template for checkpoint four, and then there's a teacher example as well. So I'm gonna show you, kind of walk you through what to do for checkpoint four. So the first thing um, we need to do here, uh, I want you to open your checkpoint two because it feels like it's been probably a month since we've even looked at this whole essay. So look in your Google Drive, open up checkpoint two, and this is going to be where your um, essay is. So I will just bring up an example checkpoint two. My example checkpoint two. So here's my example checkpoint two. This is where you got all of your research and your evidence for what is going to be our essay. Okay. Uh, so yours should look something like this. Uh, you have all of your sources here. You have your different products or different brands, and then all of your information and your sources cited along with them. Okay, so that is going to be important because this next step, you need to make a decision. You're going to choose one of these things. Okay, so get your checkpoint to. Also, I do want you to go to checkpoint four and then go ahead and make a copy of that. Okay, so if you go, um, you can go to the homepage or you can go to modules, checkpoint four, and make a copy of that. Here we go. Okay, so click there for the template. We will make a copy and be ready to go. So you got your checkpoint two open, and then you have checkpoint four open as well. Checkpoint four looks like this. Okay. So what we need to do for checkpoint four is, like I said, you're going to be making a choice. And unfortunately, you can't just choose like the one that you like the best and the one that you want the most. Um, you're gonna have to choose based on the actual information that you found in your research. Okay, so I'm gonna show you kind of like walk through um, my example. So we have our research table from checkpoint two. That's this guy. It's all filled in. So I just put it on here. And what you're gonna do is based on each of your criteria, so each column, you're gonna rank your choices, okay? So you're just gonna take the top three and you're gonna choose, um, look at which one is the best, which one is the next best, and then which one is the worst. So you should have zero points, one point, and two points, um, which you're gonna award to each of these things. So my first criteria is amenities. So we said that's like the features that the apartments have, okay? So I wanna look for what has the best features or what has the best amenities. So just by looking here, looking at the research, which one has the best amenities? Well, clearly it is this top, Sawmill Commons. So I'm gonna give a two to Sawmill Commons, okay? Um, then the next best is Carrick Place. This one has three, okay? And the worst one is probably this Perimeter Lakes one. So I'm going to give that one a zero because it only has two things, which is not very many. Okay. So you can see right here, I gave two points for the best, one point for the next best, and then zero points for the worst choice in that criteria. Then you're just going to go along to the next criteria. So looking at my uh, research again, management, which one has the best? Well, two points for 
this five out of five and my personal experience. Um, so that would be two points. The next best. Hmm. Probably, well, this one has a 1.5, so I'm going to say eh, that one doesn't look so great. Um, this one does have a 5 out of 5, so that's probably going to be my next best. And then zero points. So you might have to think about this for uh, a little bit um, and really look at some of your research to decide, because sometimes it's not going to be um, as like really blatantly clear as this first one was. Sometimes you might have a, a tie if they're all the same. Um, so yeah, two, one, this one was the worst, zero. Okay, moving stress, none. That's definitely the best. I like zero stress. So that's going to earn that one two points. Um, these other ones are the same. So they're both the worst. <laughs> okay, so you might have a tie and that's okay. You can just give, you know, zero points if it's a tie, or if it's the tie for the best, you can give um, two points. And then criteria four, you get the picture, okay? Um, two, one, and then on the bottom here is zero. I have my head. All right, so now we have to choose which brand or product is the best, okay? So this is just math, okay? You're going to add up the row, so 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. And then 1 plus 0, 0, 0, that's 1. And then this one is, remember, 0. So 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 equals 2. Okay? Um, you can do this however you want. Like, if you want to go back into checkpoint 2, and then you want to... Um, you want to add another column that says, you know, two points and one point and whatever. And then you can add it, you know, add your numbers here. That's fine. You can do that. Okay. So you can go back and um, do that right now. So if you wanted to pause, um, and kind of do this step by step, that might be the, that might be a really good idea. So now would be a good time to pause and go back to your checkpoint two, look at your research, decide which one is the best, two points, which one's the next best, give it one point, and then which one is the worst, that one gets zero points. Once you've done your whole table, add up the rows and then see what you get, okay? Awesome. All right, so we have our numbers. We figured out, okay, clearly Salmo Commons is going to be the winner. Very obvious. So this is where we're going to start working on checkpoint four. Okay, so we did this for each column score, give it two, one, and zero points. Um, and then add up the point and fill in the fi final point table. So you're going to put your um, three brands here or products and then your points right here. Okay. If you're looking at mine, remember this is the table that we just saw where we added it up. And then I'm just going to transfer this information from checkpoint two. I'm going to put it in number one. So Samo Commons. Points, eight, eight points. Perimeter Lakes got one point. Here's one point. Carrick Place, two points. So you're just taking information from this table you made in checkpoint two and filling it in here so it's just easy to see. Okay, so you're looking at your chart. And this is number uh, number two. So look at your completed chart Based on your research, based on the points you gave, everything here, which option is the best choice? So here's something important to think about. I don't want you to pick the one that you want the most if it is not the highest amount of points, okay? So if it's not, if the evidence 
does not prove that it's the best choice, then don't pick that one just because you like it. Okay. You have to pick the one that has the most amount of points. Otherwise, your argument isn't very strong and you need to go back and do some more research and find other ways that you can be convincing and find uh, evidence that one is the best. Okay. So I'm going to put Salmo Commons because that had eight points. So Salmo Commons, I type that into two. All right, so look at your completed comparison chart. You must discuss the counterclaim and two additional pieces of evidence. Based on your research, what are the two new reasons why this was the best option? You're going to explain in complete sentences. Okay, so I have a counterclaim, and then I have two new reasons um, why they're the best option. So I'm going to go back to checkpoint two. So notice how we have four criteria, okay? So one of them is going to be the counterclaim. Remember that was criteria four was the counterclaim for everybody. So that one is a counterclaim. And then you're going to pick the other two that you feel like you could write about, okay? So um, for mine, I feel like moving stress, it is important to me but there's none in this box. And then there's the same information in these two boxes. So I don't really think that's going to give me the best, um, the best paragraph, the best thing that I could write about. So I'm going to choose these other two to write about criteria one and two. So basically you can cut out one of your columns, one of your criteria. You can get rid of it as long as it's not the counterclaim. Okay. So get rid of it. The one that you feel like eh, is the weakest, just, you know, leave it in, still leave it in checkpoint two, but I want you to choose the two strongest ones plus the counterclaim. Okay. So my counterclaim was price. Um, and then I'm going to choose management and amenities. Those are the two things that I'm going to write about. Okay. So in number three, I'm going to, uh, write these in complete sentences. So the counterclaim says, remember this was price for me. Um, it is not the cheapest of all the options, but it is the best value for the money when you take square footage and moving costs in the, into consideration. Okay. So the counterclaim was like, well, it's not the cheapest one, but then I have like kind of a, a rebuttal. So although it's not the cheapest, it is the best value when you take into consideration um, the amount of space that you're getting. Okay, so that was my counterclaim. Um, the next one is amenities. Okay, so the amenities at Sawmill Colin Commons include everything on my list from an in-unit washer dryer to a pool. And then number three, the management at Salmo Commons is very friendly and helpful, and their maintenance goes above and beyond. Okay, so basically, number three here, all you're doing is you're writing like a topic sentence for each of your criteria that you chose. So a topic sentence with your counterclaim. So some people might say it's too expensive, but... And then topic sentence for management. Something like well, they have really good management and that's important when you're renting an apartment. Uh, criteria one, amenities. They have all the amenities that I would want in an apartment. Or if you're doing, um, if you're doing cars, you can say this car has the best safety ratings out of every other car that I researched. And obviously safety is really important when you're uh, looking to get your first car. Okay. Um, so basically, this is like your topic sent sentences. You're going to have a paragraph about your counterclaim. You're going to have a paragraph about another reason or criteria. And then you're going to have a paragraph about your, your second reason or criteria. Okay. Then this last point. Um, so actually, I would give 
uh, take a second, pause, write those uh, three topic sentences in your, let's see where am I? This is number three. So write these topic sentences in number three and pause, come back when you're ready to do number four. Okay. So number four, you're gonna combine your answers from two and three to make a thesis statement. You're gonna acknowledge the counterclaim and then add your reasons. And this has to be a complete sentence. So your thesis statement is basically your claim, the claim that you're making, okay? You're gonna start with the word although, and then you're gonna go into your counterclaim. So this is kind of like the, when we did the articles, we said they say, it's like, although, you know, people think that it's uh, not the cheapest of all of my options, or although it doesn't uh, have this feature that's important, or although, whatever your counterclaim is, then you're gonna list your top choice, so Salmo Commons uh, is the best choice because then you have your criteria one, two, and three. So the three that you chose. So counterclaim, top choice, your rebuttal, criteria two, and three. So together, your thesis statement is going to be, although it's not the cheapest of all my options, Salmo Commons is the best choice because it's the best value. So remember, that was my rebuttal. That's what I said um, in response to this counterclaim. Okay, so remember the counterclaim was that it's not the cheapest. My rebuttal was like, well, it's the best value if you consider the amount of space and then moving costs. Okay, so that was my rebuttal. So, although it's not the cheapest of all the options, Salmo Commons is the best choice because it's the best value, it includes many important amenities, and it has a fantastic management team. Okay, so you're just listing um, after you say your top choice, you're saying it's the best because, and then you're listing your three reasons why. And those reasons are going to be uh, become your body paragraphs in our next checkpoint. Okay, so checkpoint four, just to kind of recap, you're going to do your point tables. You'll open up your checkpoint two, add up all your points, copy that information here. Okay, so put the brand and then how many points it got. You're going to choose the best. It has to be the best. It has to be the top choice. And then you're going to choose the criteria that you want to talk about. So the first one is going to be the counterclaim. So that's criteria number four for everybody. That was your counterclaim. Um, and then choose the other two criteria you want to talk about, okay? And then just put it in a complete sentence. And, and you can look at my example here, okay? So I talked about amenities and I just made it into a topic sentence. I talked about management, made it into a topic sentence. Okay, so take a look at my example. Um, you can click right here in the link to my example. So make your topic sentences, and then you're going to combine everything from number two and number three to form one thesis statement. Okay, so start with the counterclaim, although blah, 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 which one was the best choice? Go back to two for that. And then tell us why because it's then you list your um your criteria from number three here 
here's my criteria because it's the best value. It has all of the amenities that I want and it has really good management. Okay. So um, you can take a look at, like I said, you can take a look at this slideshow if you want. Um, you can watch this video as many times as you want. Um, and take a look at my example. So all of, all of this checkpoint four is due Friday. However, I would get it done, try to get it done before Friday so that um, during the week I can look at it and I can give you feedback, um, feedback on it and help you kind of make sure that you're on the right track. All right. So that you don't get behind. Um, so try to do this um, as soon as you can and submit it just so that you um, have time the rest of the week to meet with me and ask questions and I can give you feedback as well. Um, so my plan is to go over this again on Wednesday. Um, obviously, if you, if you have any questions during the week, um, you can email me. Um, we can set up a like a one-on-one -on -one Zoom conference if you want to do that too. Again, just email me and let me know. Um, and then Friday, uh, I'd like to maybe do some mini mini conferences at um, just like maybe five five ten minutes with people. So if that's something you're interested in as well, um, just email me and and let me know. Okay. So um, I know this is kind of tough and it's really hard when we can't just be there um, over your shoulder looking at what you're doing and helping you right away. But you guys got this. Yeah, just just give it a try. Have some confidence. Um, I know it's, you know, it's new and it's hard to get back into this whole thing. But just be confident. Give it a go. You know, if it's not exactly right uh, the first time, that's okay. Um, you know, we'll we'll help you get to where you need to be. Okay. So any questions, let me know. Give it a try. You're probably on the right track. Um, and yeah. Awesome.